This is Cohort, Brian. Same year, same time. But in this universe, Christianity never existed, which means the dark ages of scientific repression never occurred, and thus humanity is a thousand years more advanced. What if Jesus never existed? What if Christianity never came about? Would society be as advanced as Family Guy implies? Or would society be in a much darker state than what it already is? Join me to discover the answers to all these questions. There is a widely held belief that Christianity has caused more harm than good. In fact, this belief is thrown around as a fact when in reality there is no evidence to back it. In this video, I will set out to disprove some of the most common arguments against Christianity's positive impact on this world. Some of these arguments include Number one, Christianity has caused many wars. Number two, Christianity is detrimental to scientific progress, and many more. For starters, let's look at the first argument I outlined in this video. Christianity caused or causes many wars. Anyone with the slightest knowledge of the Bible knows that this argument can be easily debunked and collapses once you know Jesus taught peace instead of war. In fact, Jesus on several occasions taught not to resort to violence. Jesus said, 1. Love your enemies, Matthew 5.44. 2. Turn the other cheek, Matthew 5.39. 3. Blessed are the peacemakers, Matthew 5.9. And 4. All who draw the sword will die by the sword, Matthew 26.52. Now that it's been clearly communicated that Jesus taught peace, the argument that Christianity caused many wars is recognized for what it is, an attribution error. Any real Christian will not resort to killing or torturing someone as Jesus never taught this. If someone kills in the name of Jesus, they're obviously not following his teachings. Many of the most popular and renowned atheist figures of today are not too fond of Christianity or religion as a whole, as to be expected. But some of them go to extremes and say the following. Uh, but I, I don't think that religion has anything useful to teach us. The issue of psychopathy. We're being offered a psychopathic and psychotic moral attitude. It's psychotic because it's completely delusional. There's no reason to believe that we live in a universe ruled by an invisible monster, Yahweh. Now let's look at the second argument I outlined at the beginning of the video. Christianity is detrimental to scientific progress. Now, not only is Christianity not an obstacle to scientific progress, but also, in fact, many scholars agree Christianity helped foster scientific inquiries and thus played a role in its flourishing. Well, you also feel that uh, Christianity played something of a role in the rise of science. Can you explain to us what you mean by that? Historically, science exploded in the 16th and 17th centuries in Western Europe. And people have asked the question, why then and why there? And it was Sir Alfred North Whitehead, I suppose, at the beginning, who argued strongly for the fact that science arose because people believed, not simply that nature was ordered, but they believed that there was a rational mind of God behind nature, and therefore, nature could be understood by rational minds. And so with that kind of Christian foundation, science could grow. Whereas in China, which had a lot of technological development, science didn't grow in that way. Just about every major branch of science that has been created was originated by people who believe in the Bible. There have been countless Christian books written that all account of Christianity's positive impact on science, both in its development and its rise. Some of these books include, but are not limited to, What if Jesus was never born, The Genesis of Science, and many more. The idea that Christianity helped science take off in the 16th and 17th century is known as the Alfred North Whitehead Thesis. Now let's look at a third argument often used against Christianity to prove its supposed flaws and harm on the world. Number three, 
Christianity is harmful because it disfavors women. One of the more interesting things about American culture today is the radical feminist idea that women have been victims of Christianity. Nothing could be farther from the truth. The Bible has been the most effective force in history for lifting women to higher levels of respect, dignity, and freedom. And our Christianity has made us victors, not victims. Furthermore, in many parts of the world, Christianity ended polygamy, a practice inherently unfair to women. Now, if the Bible is so anti-woman, why does it say in Proverbs 31.10, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Fact of the matter is, Christianity is not a hindrance, as many radical feminists might portray, to women rights. In fact, the Bible is all for women and has been one of the instruments that has most benefited them, even till today. Now let's look at the final argument I will be debunking. The argument that supposedly substantiates that Christianity has a negative effect on intellectual development. Number four. Christianity is anti-intellectual. Half million dollars. There is a strong link between the Christian faith and education. Christians have brought literacy to hundreds of millions of people of all sorts of languages by codifying those languages in the first place. There are hundreds of languages that were first set to writing by Christian missionaries in order to translate the Bible. Furthermore, Christianity has impacted education at higher levels as well. In fact, Around the year 1200, the church created a new phenomenon in the history of the world, the university. The church had a lot to do with the birth of the university system. The church positively encouraged the creation of schools and the financing of them. Some of the most prominent scientists who ever lived were strong believers in God and his son, Jesus Christ. Here is a list of such men, along with the branch of science they created. Louis Pasteur, bacteriology. Johannes Kepler, Celestial Mechanics. Lord Kelvin, Energetics. Blaise Pascal, Hydrostatics. Charles Babbage, Computer Science. Lord Joseph Lister, Antiseptic Surgery. Robert Boyle, Chemistry. James Simpson, Anesthesiology. Matthew Fontaine Maury. In summary, if Christianity never existed, all the following statements would be true. Number one, Western civilization would not be as advanced Number two, war would be more rampant. Number three, women would not have the privileges they have today. And number four, literacy would not be as widespread as it is. Now keep in mind, these are but a few things that Christianity has contributed to society. There have been many more benefits that have been derived from Christianity's existence. Now, was Family Guy right in its assertion that without Christianity, this world would be much more advanced? I think after watching this video, you think otherwise.